Hi, I'm Father David again. Come, let me take you around Sanford. Okay guys, so are you with me? We're going around. See, the first thing I want to point out is this corner over here. This corner, oh, this house, 718. This is actually, let me stop, okay? Let me stop so you can have a focus. This is actually the first rectory. Rectory is where the priest lives in a parish. Convent is for nuns. Rectory is for priests. So I heard that this is the first rectory that they have. And of course our parish was here since 1887. So I don't know when did they start living here. But it's a very historical and memorable uh, site for us. And I always point it out whenever I have some guest priest coming. So beautiful, right? I hope someday we can go back and live there again. Okay, so we'll move forward. Now, uh, look at the houses. Look at the houses here at Sanford. This is one of the, this is one of the attractions that I take pride in telling my friends and my families. Besides the brick roads that surrounds uh, the community, you look at the trees. Holy cow! Some of these trees been there for ages. Maybe maybe some of them are hundred year old trees. So you can tell and and they protect them very well and take care of them very well. I think it's kind of a sin to you know cut them off. One of the beautiful sights and highlights whenever I come and visit Sanford before I was assigned here. And even the roads. Look at the roads. If you can see the roads, the view. Uh, they're so wide besides becoming a brick or something. And I also heard that a lot of families a lot of families that are moving to Sanford are young families. This, this is totally different from the kind of demographics that I had when I was here 20 years ago. Trans, uh, Sanford has transformed a lot, big time. And I am so proud and I'm so happy that I'm assigned back here and be able to uh, remember a lot of things so also Sanford is Sanford is developing I heard it's developing uh, besides besides the historical site that they have in this place uh, uh, there's a lot of development and, and, and stores and, and restaurants that are being built here so it's a place to go actually in Central Florida a lot of my friends in Central Florida come here because of this. Now we are we are about to go to the very heart of Sanford and I'd like to go there because I'd like to go there because there's a beautiful Christmas tree there. And of course that Christmas tree is one of the powerful symbols to remind us about what Christmas is coming. The very reason for the season. This is it. This is the Bicardo, the very heart of the historical district of Sanford, Florida. This is so special because this is the square. This is the place where people gather together. This is the place where people would convene and celebrate this touristy of this beautiful hometown. I think it's very appropriate because between the winter season and the season of Christmas, coming together on this particular time and particular moment in, the, in our calendar, it's a beautiful thing for us to recognize how nature and how God works with us to be able to understand and appreciate how these things work together. For me, this is Christmas. You know, this, this cold and 
weather that we have that surrounding us, even with the pandemic that surrounds us, how we can take this opportunity to feel that, that weather, that coldness, but at the same time to be warm with the message and the presence of the Emmanuel that we hear again and again. This is what Christmas is about. Emmanuel coming to our lives to warm us, to be with us, to abide with us. And that's why it's more very special. So again, on behalf of the priests and the community of All Souls Catholic Church, people of Sanford, we are all here together on this beautiful season. And I would like to take this opportunity to invite you all, because we are all into this. We are all called into a special mission of bringing about this beautiful reason and purpose of the season, and that is Christ coming to our lives to save us, to free us, for us to be able to experience the true joy and peace that He fought for and lived for for us. So come join us. Everyone is invited. Everyone has the opportunity to experience the gift of God for us. Giftedness being given to others. It's not enough for us to just receive these beautiful opportunities and blessings that we have. I think for us to be fruitful and be, experience the meaning of this season of Christmas is for us, like Jesus, to share that life, to bring that joy and peace to other people. So here in Sanford, at All Souls Catholic Church, in this historic city, we invite everyone and Merry Christmas to you all.